blazing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron than the heart of the Eternal Freeze. different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kokolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The Underworld... No. The entire planet relies on her. Resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I, I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. And to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist, to cover our ears instead of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature, so difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then... then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself! Zila... All of you... 
Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here, Brown. Huh? I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kakoria, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds a light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! 
The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! Time for the Master's Radiant Spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy! A one-time enemy. Strike with heart! Follow my charge. <laughs> the truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's go. Uh, rules are made to be broken! Here, this thunder!
granted by them! Listen to the power surge! Sing! The Stellaron's promise is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world! Stay alert. Just a scratch. Estimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair! Fighting Kokolia. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. We know well the consequences. Searchers, their work is illegal. Why, Kakalia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau, you were my most cherished friend. Oh, there is 
Themselves if we withdraw every guard. The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right.
can't be. The will of preservation has made its choice. Nothing of the plight of this world. Nothing of the wait for its final end. Even if we are doomed to destruction, we will go bravely. Walking hand in hand into the darkness. <laughs> Time for the Master's radiant spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy! Stay alert. Defend the weak. Time for some sword play! <laughs> There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. I'm on guard. Crash him! How many of my moves can you block? Ha! Clemency never hurt. <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed in an in this sanctuary is but a vision. Here, this thunder. You will not take away our home. Never heard of it. Here, this thunder. <laughs> Time for the master's radiant spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy. <laughs> Life and death revealed in an in this sanctuary is but a vision. Lance at the ready. Fracture. Conflict is 
Step aside. I have no interest in stoking cotton. <laughs> The power of the Stellaron is with me! You are but cinders of the old world, soon to become ashes! You'll be the architect of a new world! I'm on guard. There's no time to lose. Here, it's thunder! The only redemption. Clemency? Never heard of it. Indestructible. Step aside. I have no interest in still. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. A foregone conclusion. Conflict is pitiless. So, how many of my moves? They deceived me. We made a choice, go! It's the future. It will engulf everything! Trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. The Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the Engine of Creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Zila. I... 
I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie, but it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kakolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Thank you for understanding. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the Underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative District. I need to tell Jabard and... Serve... Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. She's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you! Help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder. But at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. That's settled then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellopog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Through the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. He probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. 
Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with this Stellarod. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... He should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Kakolia. In order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Thank you. <laughs> I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out alright. What about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Hmm. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Hmm, roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly... <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Do you think the Great Mine was affected by our fighting on the surface? <sighs> Let's hope we didn't cause a collapse. Oh look, it's Antonia! 
The miners and vagrants are all in the same spot. I sure hope they're not arguing again. Quick, let's head over. Here, take it. I'm afraid we're short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, we actually have enough for the moment. You hang on to it. Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? It's you! Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge quake at the mine just now. Part of it collapsed. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. I was just discussing how to repay them. It's a shame the mining team's hard up right now. Oh, to do with us? Eh, I'm listening. Whoa, you mean to say that we're about to be reunited with the overworld? Are you serious? This has got to be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. If things go back to the way they were ten years ago, then the mining team can finally escape this poverty. And you won't have to rely on the charity of others. We'll finally be living with the dignity we deserve. I... <laughs> Thank you, Outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes, as will the rest of the Underworld. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. If the cable car station can start operating again, we'll dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the Architects. Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. Should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet.
It's getting late. Where to now? Is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. <laughs> Sometimes face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Rania doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparag and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the Robot Settlement. Outsiders, for friends of Clara. How did you know that was Perkins? The, 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 thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Follow me. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Svarag said it must have been. Recalculating. Conclusion Engine of Creation 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog... Um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Svara, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete.
That's our Branya. Quick as a flash. <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. It's getting late. Where to now? You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? <laughs> I smell it too. <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A return to normality. Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. I'm sorry. Here I am talking your ear off again. This is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. If you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. Then when you're ready, let's go home. Finally, finally I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you, the liberators of the underworld. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Oh, uh, I'm afraid you might have to make an exception, mister. My license has expired, but then I haven't had the chance to go up and renew it for ten years now. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round! The cable car passenger service is about to restart! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> that's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now... I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it.
It's Japard! Is he here to meet us? He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. over there. Is the address starting soon? Hmm. Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. Guards! Formation! This must be it! Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the Underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you, we're not aware of their arrival, but it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, 
We should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Bronya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Bronya! Lady Bronya! Long live Bellabog! Hung. And you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute. But I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. for her to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Hmm. Allow me to explain. Which means... the Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. Five. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos.
Anya said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Here we are! Everwinter Monument! Photo time! Oh, Pela and Hook are here too! Let's make sure we get them in the background. particular piece of Geomero is definitely not for sale. A photo? What's that? Hook wants to see it! I must remind you that taking photos of others without gaining their permission violates Bellabog Public Security Ordinance number... Wait, that's a nice picture! And it's crystal clear! Wow, photos are awesome! Uh, can Hook have it? <laughs> you like it? It's yours. A farewell gift from us. Okay, where to next? Oh, we haven't seen Serval since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? <laughs> it's you three! Oh, come on in! I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big brother? Miss Serval's workshop is amazing! There are all kinds of things! I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the Architect's children are still calling me Auntie and making me feel old. Photo? <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? <laughs> wow, that's pretty great. I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Th thanks, Mr. Vol. Big Brother, March, Dan Hong. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svara. Ah, uh, uh, that 
that's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on! Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do! Come around and have a look! At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> you don't have to answer that, but if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Don Hung. Still has no cure, I see. 
you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. Goodbye. <sighs> Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? <sighs> of course not. I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze, back from duty! Mission one accomplished! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the express. Your Elo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the Way of the Nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home. 
Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait! The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. Klopoth the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the Fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a Supreme Guardian and to take control of the Colossus. <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your Relo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. is a Stellaron, there's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. Welt may be better equipped to answer that, but if you want my two cents... I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Welt and I to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. Yes. 
So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himiko is, we've pretty much run out of topics. I'm afraid not. As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo 6 is more profound than we might think. I don't think Bella Boggs' fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But the balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity, the crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope because the power it inspires has no limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. But, in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. <laughs> I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the Express, and I have to admit that I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himiko was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. Likewise, get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. needs to focus. Good to see you, too. Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star rail stability keeps rising. 56%, 57%. The numbers have stabilized. Dispatch the Express. Oh, welcome back to the Express. You've accomplished your Trailblaze mission. The Express appreciates your help. Thanks to you, the Space Fisher is healing up, and the Star Rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the Express. As for the coaches, Pom Poms checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. Ugh, don't worry about it. Your Rillo 6 probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. Plus, it's your first time on a Trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. But don't forget next time! The destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. For now, get some rest and stay tuned. Oh, Pom Pom almost forgot. There you go. Careful not to spill it. Thank you, Conductor! Right away! To avoid encountering the anomalies again, the Express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached cruising speed. <laughs> 